One of the things we need most in this world is to get the respect and value we deserve. But unfortunately, it's not always easy. In this video, I'm going to talk about some of the things we can do for that. But first, I want to talk about an experiment. Joshua Bell is a very professional violinist and a very popular person. He's such a person that when he gives a concert, the tickets are sold out two days in advance. Let's imagine that this person, whose lowest ticket prices start at $100, performs at a subway station like a street musician. If you saw this person at the subway station, would you know it was really him? That's what the researchers wondered, and they made a deal with Bell. While Bell plays his violin in the subway station, no one can recognize him for about 45 minutes. Although 1,100 people pass by, only six people recognize him. The tip he collected was $32. The man, whose concert tickets start at $100, is not recognized by anyone when he plays music in the subway. If a person is not in an environment that highlights his talents, no one realizes how valuable he is. Even if you are a world-famous violinist, when you are in concert halls, people will buy tickets and pay a lot of money to see your face and be a little bit closer to you. But when you are on the subway, no one will look at your face even though you are playing the same music. This is what we call the context effect. So why does this happen? Actually, the reason is very simple. Our brain works according to the principle of economy. In other words, if we were comparing everything we encountered in our environment, if we were thinking all over again, we probably wouldn't be able to get up from our seats. And if we gave all our physical energy to our brains, the energy we gave would still not be enough. The logic is exactly like this. When you see an expensive item in a supermarket, you are not surprised by the price. In fact, you tend to buy that expensive item without much questioning. But when you see a cheap item, you might think that you shouldn't pay so much for it. And this is where the economic principle of our brain comes into play. And when you meet Joshua Bell on the subway, this is exactly how it works. What's a world-famous violin virtuoso doing in a subway station? I can only see him in a concert hall. That's the thought that goes through your mind. At this point, it is not necessary to blame people, because the human brain is focused on thinking this way. But most of the time when we don't notice, when we are like the violinist in the subway, we get angry with people. You think you are not noticed, you think you are not valued, but could you be standing in the wrong place? Because where we stand affects the way we are noticed and valued by other people. Now take a look at yourself. Are you where you deserve to be? Where you position yourself affects the way people look at you. I have a ring, and when I see it in a jewelry store, I think it is very luxurious and expensive. But when I see it in a junk shop, I think it is a piece of iron. Even who sells an object affects its value. So when you go back to your own life, at what points can you change the context effect? First of all, what kind of work do you do? Sometimes some people get so bogged down in details that people around them celebrate them as a person of small things. Now think about it. Are the things you are dealing with really the things that you should be dealing with? Or are you dealing with much smaller things? If you devote your life to small things, after a while you will think that this is your reality. If you are with people with a narrower vision and vision instead of people at your own level of knowledge and culture, after a while you will start to look and be evaluated like them, you need to pay attention to that too. So who you are with, who you make friends with, is also of great importance. The talents you have are like a precious jewel, and if you present it everywhere, you will see a value that you don't want. In such a situation, you have to ask the question, does the other person deserve to see this precious jewel? I don't show the parts of myself that I think I'm talented in any place or I don't present them to everyone, because I know very well that if I show the most valuable thing in the world to someone who doesn't understand it, they will tend to underestimate it. I make sure to show it to whoever is aware of my labor, my success, and what I have done. Instead of showing my talent to the 1100 people who pass us on the subway, I show it to those six people who will understand, because if I try to show it to all of them, after a while my brain will start to think, either these people don't understand what I'm doing, or I'm really not doing it right. Even if you are a professional, after a while you think about it. If you take a Toyota Supra to a junkyard, and you want to find out what you're going to get for it, the outcome is always obvious. But if you take it to a collector or a car dealership, that's when it starts to show its value. I think there are really big lessons that we can learn from this experiment and from this story. And if you don't think you're getting the respect and the value that you deserve, I would advise you to look at where you stand. Thank you for listening to me, my friend. Be very good to yourself until we meet in the next video. Goodbye.